Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain you why direct laws are incorrect. The first law tells that an object with no unbalanced forces acting on it will naturally come to rest. Here is an example. But what about in space? In space there is no gravity so no force. In this experiment, a man stared spinning and the other is just positioning his friend. He will never come to rest. This ball of water had a force on him and is not going to stop. We can see that in space objects are not going to rest. And there the first law is broken. So why does on earth this work? Because of friction. Friction is a small force acting on object like the friction of the table or the air when you throw an object. Here is an example of friction acting on a tire. The tire won't fall until the weight will be higher than friction to cause the rubber fall. In other words, when the result of the friction and the normal is not balancing the weight, the tire falls. So, to reduce the friction of our bike, let's add wheels. The second law is that an unbalanced force causes an object to move with a constant velocity. So, at a moment t we act a force f that cause our object to move at a velocity v. But at t prime we act the same force on our object with his initial force that was moving at v. So now our object is moving at V prime. V is bigger and is not constant. What is constant is acceleration. A constant force is not involving a constant velocity, but a constant acceleration. F equals MA. An example is this marble. The fan acts a constant force on the marble and so it accelerates. The fans should be right behind the marble at every moment in order to have a better experience. Another way to understand it is the free fall of object. A falling object is only submissed to gravity, and it accelerates. In this case, air was removed to remove friction. Now the third law. Larger objects apply larger forces to smaller objects. If we consider a cannonball, the powder exerts the same force on the cannon and the ball. And remember that F equals MA and their forces are the same, so MA equals MA. But the mass of the cannon is a lot bigger than the ball one. Thus, the acceleration of the ball is bigger than the cannon one. So, in a car crash for example, the force exerted are the same and thus acceleration will be bigger. The momentum also counts. 
momentum equal the mass times the velocity. In order to exert the same force on two bodies, we use this mechanism. Momentum equal the mass times the velocity. And so, the bigger ball with a bigger mass will have a bigger momentum than the marble. Only mass count here. 